Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to rotate an object with text file. So let's create a script. And then name it as text file reader. And then just drag and drop that text file to the queue. Open the script. So now let's create text file. Okay. Just have your name it as datos. Open the text file. And then we are going to have heading list x, y, and z. And then the list items and the x, y, z values. 3, 4, 5. And then three third list is 4, 5, and 6. So this is it. So these are the list which have each row uh, which contain the data, the list 1 and list 2, list 3 and the data as follows. So let's save the text file and then copy the text file to the project in Unity and then open the text file in edit in mono bigger. You can see the list has been created with the text. So now what we are going to do is we are going to implement the namespace called using system.io. IO is going to have the namespace which is required for to read a text file. For example, like text assorts, CSV file, everything which will be contained in system.io. So I just implemented that namespace at the top. So make sure that you have the system.io. And then create a function called read text. So this function is going to read the text data from the folder called text. Create a string array. And then we are going to have name it as data. Let's create a public variable called text assort and then text file. So this text assort which going to have that text file. So I'm just get the text file and then we are going to split inside the text file called text file dot text dot split. So split to have a single quotes within that. So we are going to separate the each last line using a slash and let's have slash right slash and then n make sure that you have right slash so that you don't get any errors so now we are what we are going to do is we are going to cube and then drag and drop the data text file to the publicly created variable So it's play and let's see the output. I'm sorry before that we'll make it public so that you can able to see I'm making as public variable. Just remove this string from here. Okay, now it's fine. You can able to view what's going on what's going on at the back side. Okay. So these are the data we are we have fetched. We are uh, we are going to fetch from it. So let's call the data in start function so that it will start working up. Hit play. Okay, now you can see the data which have been received from the text file list x y z and one two three two three four five and three four five six. So these are the data 
which we got from the list from the text file now we are going to extract each rows of a cell first of all we are going to get the rows first so let's have for statement for that for int i equal to 0 i is lesser than data of dot length I'm sorry, there must be an error. Let me clear it out. It should be I, not int. Okay. Data dot length. Okay. Now is everything is perfect. So we are going to call string cells string should be an array so make sure that you have array and then we are going to get the data from the data of i split you should have single quotes for split so make sure that you have single quotes and then I have comma between that why because let me show you uh, let's open the notepad you can see each has been separated by comma so I am just separating using a comma so it play I'm sorry again we are going to make it as public to make them we can view at their runtime in the editor so let's have public strings trails and remove from the function hit play Now you can see cells have been updated here. So these are the cells from your data which you fetched from the data. You can manually tweak the data which you like to see. So this is going to get the length of your data. I am just having a one so that at least see what we get from the list. So it should show yeah list. Why is it the heading has been fetched? So since we don't need the heading list x y z, we are going to remove at uh, start from for loop to one and make it as removed and then just call the length. That's it. We don't need the first row, so I just omitted using a for statement. Okay, now you can see the third cell has been shown here. So let's have an update and then implement in cube to make the object is to object to rotate. I'm sorry, I want to implement using a uh, names using transform. So this dot transform dot rotate and then cells of 1 comma cells of 2 comma cells of 3 so these are going to have the x y z values so i just have cells of 1 cells of 2 and cells of 3 some, something like that from the text document so since it has a uh, integer so we are going to make it as float because transform need from a float so i'm just making as float float dot parse which convert the integer values to float anything either it's string or anything you can make So this is it. Hit play, you can see the object is rotating perfectly.
so it has been applied to the cube so we you can uh, manually tweak the each so now now we are getting a data from the second list and you can either manually change it or third list which li which li list you like to take from your text document you can manually tweak using a for loop statement See now you are running first row with the sales. You can have three or you can have data dot length, which you wish. So that's it you can change int i variable or data of length if you like to get the exact row from the text document now you can see you you are getting a third row so we are making animation the cube using a text document like this so this is it you can get this uh, source package from unity3dteacher.com and you can try it out by your own if you think this video is very helpful for you you can subscribe us and thanks for watching i will see you in next video bye and thank you you have each list you can able to get so this is it and thanks for watching